Okay, we'll go back to the top story as we have it. Nigeria is reporting one of the uh, strongest decline in inflation for the month of February, 14.33% down year on year, or 15.13% in the month of January. This is a strong numbers, and you've heard some of the first word this morning about what we should do with inflation. We'll call inflation uh, now, if you put it on annualized basis at a 9%, it's now a strong time for the Nigeria's central bank to lower interest rate, which is currently uh, NPR at 14%. So you can see uh, the numbers will run you through this uh, very quickly. You can see the latest figure in bold black on the left side. Then on the right side, you see the, uh, the margin of difference, 0.79% month on month from the month of January 2017. So you can see inflation uh, going down. But the sweet part of this uh, numbers that were just uh, just about an hour and uh, 20 minutes ago from the Bureau of Statistics has to do with the food inflation. Food inflation is the most stubborn within the inflation basket in Nigeria. When you look at our CPI, what are called the Consumer Price Index basket, that tells you where food really is. Of course, you've got to feed 180 million people. But you see that number down there to 17.59% from 18.92% in January within 30 days. That went down month on month, 0.85%. And that's the story this morning. And the highest, uh, on, uh, some of where some of these are coming through is what you see there, uh, some of what uh, all of us uh, consume, including my favorite, potato uh, and yam and other tubers. Uh, let's move on and, and take a look at the cost of index uh, very quickly. Bring that on. Let's look, uh, remind our viewers what the cost of index is in February. If you are not yet on, uh, on Twitter, you know, just seen the numbers for the first time turning on your TV this morning. This business is year on year, 11.7% from 12.10% in January of 2017. Month on month, that gives you a quarter, uh, about three quarters of a percent, sorry, 0 0.75. That's what three quarters of a percent really uh, is. And you can see where that is coming up next on the page, you see where fuel and lubricants for transportation, maintenance of cars, uh, vehicle spare parts, hospital services, repair and hire of clothing, clearing, passenger by air, whatever, all that uh, contributing. Uh, these are the key uh, areas for the core sub index uh, uh, last month. And then uh, earlier you heard about the urban and rural inflation. This is a bit of a coming close to a convergence. And I will bring that on now. You can see the urban inflation at 14.76% year on year from 15.6% uh, earlier. And if you uh, flip that over and look at the rural index, you find 13.96%. This is where the, there's a bit of a convergence. Now, not much of a difference between the urban and rural inflation. Uh, that is uh, uh, some of the uh, stories we're tracking for you uh, uh, this morning. And of course, as you heard earlier, if you want to know more about where your state stands as far as inflation, check through the next page, you find a bit of a summary of that. All items inflation, the profiling of all the 36 states of the Federation. Uh, you can see the numbers. There. You can see some of those words are on the highest point. Kebi State, uh, Bauchi, and Yobe. And you can find those who are on the lower end of the double digit around Delta, Edo, and Kogi States. And if you look at the month on month, uh, and you can also see there those who are uh, in the negative 0.03% in Eboin, in Nasarawa, uh, almost a neuter in Taraba State. But if you look at the left side, you can see Kebi, Yobe, and River State, where inflation month on month remains very, very sticky. Okay, we're taking you back to what's making the headlines today. Overnight, the African Development Bank released its latest report projecting West Africa's GDP growth for this year at 3.8 percent and a notch higher at 3.9 in the 2019 fiscal year. Growth was up this in this region 2.5 percent last year after we saw a stagnation of about half a percent the year earlier. 2017, of course, Nigeria led the rest of the region into some negative GDP territory. In the meantime, there is no embargo lifting yet or clearance for the Monetary Policy Committee and Central Bank Deputy Governor's nominees. Uh, yesterday, the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, uh, told the Senator Rafiu Ibrahim's Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions to conduct, quote, further legislative process on the nominations. Uh, if these processes are fast-tracked between today and Friday, most likely we'll be able to meet uh, next Monday 19th and Tuesday the 20th uh, meeting of the MPC. That will be the first in 2018, uh, which you can see on the calendar 
of the Central Bank of Nigeria. So will this meeting hold next week, uh, Monday and Tuesday? If it does, we'll be all over it for those two days live from Abuja, Nigeria's political uh, capital. So where is the budget 2018 really? Uh, of course, it's still with the National Assembly. Uh, so yesterday, uh, the uh, Senate says, well, sorry, the budget is not ready. And this is the uh, very simple as it stands. Uh, the, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Media and Public Affairs, basically uh, the man in charge of public relations for the Senate, uh, uh, Sabi Abdullahi, says, quote, the budget process, this is what he told the journalists, uh, my colleagues yesterday, says the budget process is on, and I cannot tell you this is the specific day it is going to end. That sounds a little bit, uh, well, somehow. We don't know when the budget 2018 would clear up. But remember last year, uh, the 2017 budget was passed uh, towards the month of June. Uh, so it's still early days if we can make it between March, April, and May. Okay, let's uh, go on what story we're also focusing on today. The state of Nigeria's public debt, or what you call the debt sustainability uh, profile of Nigeria, will be the subject of the Debt Management Office media briefing this morning at 11 uh, local time in Abuja. That uh, event, of course, has been uh, closely watched by everyone to see the latest or hear the latest from the Debt Office, which is saddled with managing Nigeria's debt officially and giving us the numbers and the sustainability level of the current uh, borrowings of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And so that takes us effectively to the markets, and we're going to return to the bills and bonds later on. But uh, let's uh, check through what the market uh, finished off last, just yesterday. Yes, uh, so let's look at the market uh, numbers. The stock market will finished off slightly uh, positive. That's a manage, uh, what you call the aching out of some positive uh, just at the doorstep of 43,000. We would have lost that by a few notches, but we managed with 